A chirpy Cape Town mayor, Patricia DeLol, arrives at Parliament for what was to be the second day of a disciplinary hearing. But again, the process has been stonewalled, and this time indefinitely. The disciplinary hearing into Ms. DeLille was adjourned today owing to the withdrawal of one of the panel members. Um, he decided to withdraw to prevent any possible conflict of interest or risk. DeLille's legal team has been arguing for Pohiso Monlusi and Sheila Kamra to recuse themselves on the basis that they are not fit and proper to serve on the panel. With Monlusi's recusal, the entire process has to start from scratch. They need to find a replacement for him and then we need to start the whole thing over. Now really it is a waste, waste of time, it's costly, costly for me because I have to pay my lawyers. Um, and so we didn't even get to um, uh, the debate or the request to make this hearing open. Uh, because, you know, we just feel like going straight to court because we don't know when now uh, the issue of having an open hearing will, will be agreed on by them. Dalil is accused of bringing the party into disrepute and being difficult to work with. One political analyst believes this issue has done irreparable damage to the party. I think the DA in itself needs to start thinking about some of these tensions in going forward because I think as the election next year looms large in the electoral strategy, there were reports, in particular a city press report, which suggested that the DA was polling pre, uh, in terms of its, its, its electoral footprint uh, pre-2016 polling uh, uh, results. Delil's powers in the city of Cape Town have been curtailed pending the outcome of this hearing. For now, the city of Cape Town remains in limbo while this dark cloud hangs over its mayor. Leanne Jansen, Cape Town.